For anyone in the greenhouse tomato industry, particularly new or potential growers, the Greenhouse Tomato Short Course is the place to go for information. Each year, Mississippi State University Extension Service specialists and researchers educate participants about all aspects of greenhouse tomato production. This year, the short course covered some allied crops producers might consider growing, such as microgreens. Farm Week's Amy Taylor reports. With the fresh gourmet flavor of greenhouse tomatoes, this crop is becoming increasingly popular among growers, particularly those who sell to restaurants. Mississippi State University Extension Service vegetable specialist Dr. Rick Snyder says growers at the greenhouse tomato short course learned about startup costs, irrigation, marketing, and many other topics. Growers can learn a lot of the uh, money-saving techniques and yield maximizing techniques that they need to uh, have a successful business. So we'll cover quite thoroughly disease uh, prevention, disease identification and management, as well as the pest management and prevention, and even the nutritional disorders. You might not think of nutrition as a pest or disease, but, but uh, some of the nutritional defects and physiological disorders can resemble insect and disease damage in many cases. Additionally, Dr. Snyder says microgreens were discussed as alternative crops to add variety in the greenhouse. Steve Froelich of Graston, Minnesota explains why he's attended the short course for the past 20 years. It's always interesting talking to, to other people and finding out uh, uh, their approach to doing things and there's a lot of different ways to, to grow a crop. I think we live in very interesting times right now and certainly with, with so much of our food coming from other parts of, of the countryside and, and the concern about food safety and health of foods. Um, this is a great industry to be in. It's an industry that needs to grow in the United States and it certainly is a much better alternative to, to what we might have available to us uh, through our, our conventional grocery stores that are important from Mexico. and and virtually everywhere else in the world. Since 1996, greenhouse tomato acreage in the U.S. has increased by 40 percent, now at about 1,000 acres. From Raymond, Mississippi, I'm Amy Taylor reporting. If you're interested in greenhouse tomato production and the annual short course, we'll have the contact information on our Farm Week website and Facebook page next week.